Oh, I don't know if this is going to be funny, but let's give it a shot. Let's do the title. This is out of Florida, obviously. I'm about to waste about 20 of them. Florida man threatened to kill kids at party, said the police. Hmm. This sounds like a CNN thing. I think that that Florida man is actually an abortion doctor showing up at a gender reveal party where there's a woman who's pregnant and they're having a little party get together with the rest of their pregnant friends. So he shows up, he's like the, you know, he's the party clown. You, you hire a clown for, you know, balloons and shit. So he shows up, he says, hey everybody. And he's also an abortion doctor. I can take care of all your problems, all 20 of you. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, who the fuck set up this clown abortion party? Whoever, you know, like, get out of here, man. <laughs> I'm sure two of them, at least two of them, would be like, well, I just paid a bunch of money to get insemin artificially inseminated, wait for it to grow for eight months, and then go kill it. But I didn't think about bringing a clown. Might as well have a clown doing it. You fucking... And who the... F who... Is is having sex with these women, these women that only get pregnant just to have abortions. I mean, I don't think that's real, but you do see memes of it, so you got to think at least one dumb bitch fucking does it out there. Look, look, you dumb bitch. I don't know how you're tricking these men into having sex with you because after a couple of abortions, you're kind of spent. I mean, kind of takes it out of you. <laughs> Right. It takes it out of you. You start getting bags under your eyes. You go vegan. And like, oh, Jesus Christ. This bitch won't shut up about her episiotomy. So. Or maybe I have it completely wrong. Let's read the story. Here we go. There we go. Now we're ready. Read the title again, just in case you missed it. I'm about to waste 20 of these motherfuckers, Florida man said. And they took it as a threat. I, I, I think, look at him. He's obviously a stand-up guy. Hold on. One, two, three. All I wanted to do was serve my community and help abort unwanted babies. Excuse me. That's all I wanted to do. And they're like, no. We called you. Be God damn it. We called you because you're a reputable professional in the clown community. And they're like, gender party, gender reveal party is kind of like, you know, a birthday. You know, all your friends are there. There's balloons, bunch of... Pregnant women standing around go ooh ah ah e i o, and now, so this guy shows up. He's providing a public service. Do the men a favor, bitches. Please consider getting an abortion. And this is his pitch. Please consider getting an abortion, because the men now realize why they don't stick their dick in crazy. So that's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do, you guys. I'm a really good clown when you get to know me. And I do abortions, just saying. One, two, three. Here we go. Out of Yuli. Whoever the fuck that is. And he's a professional. He's 57 years old. Floor man was arrested Thursday night after calling 911 uh, and... I guess he was threatening to kill people at a house party in his neighborhood. Look, there's too many pregnant bitches around. Business is down. I'm a professional clown and abortionist. Look, COVID's hit everybody hard. 
and doubly so on abortionists and clowns. Like, it was like hey, are we going to have a clown at the party this week? I'm like, no. I'm not having a fucking clown. What's the matter with you? Tell your dad to put on the makeup again. He does it every Christmas. All right, I continue. Uh, Tony was charged with making threats to kill and misuse the, and misuse the 911 system. Well, he already misused it by saying, look, I'm out of work abortionist. There's a fucking gender reveal party down the street. I, I, I don't know if I can resist going down there and just handing my card out. You know, like, look, in case you have second thoughts, you know, maybe hold off on the gender reveal. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Deputies went to the home after the caller made threats on the county's 911, blah, blah, blah. I'm about to waste about 20 of them right now. Hold on. I won't let me uh, highlight the words. Oh, here we go. I'm about to waste about 20 of them right now. Uh, all these bitches are like, yes, yes, please. Cut this thing out of me. Ruin me so I can never have children. I don't know why I got married. I'm a piece of shit. It's not even his kid. I'll say it's rape, but I'm like, we don't know who it was that cut the babies out of us. It was the clown. He was wearing makeup. So, business. Let's talk about business right quick. Uh, never wear the same clown makeup twice. Can't prove anything. Uh, so, the caller told the dispatcher... At some point during the calls, like, you know, like 20 minutes of ranting and raving. And then at some point, he, it, I might waste them, you know. Then he claimed he had so many guns right now. I'm about to blow the whole house up. Oh, come on. Before adding that the, 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 the dad sent somebody over or he was going to make some money giving abortions. I think it, I really believe this. <laughs> Uh, deputies found a large party of children and adults going on in the neighborhood. The report said the woman who answered the door at the home said, There was no problems here. We, we know he's the abortion clown. Just, you know, what if young Trixie, you know, it's her third pregnancy. She got abortions two other times. So chances are, you know, maybe he'll make a, some extra money. At this party, you know. Don't worry, he wears a mask. He's he's very safe when he gives you an abortion. Uh, the report said the woman who entered the door at the home said that there was no problem, but pointed to a house across the pond, or across, uh, across the street, basically, when asked if she knew of anyone that might have a problem to deal with. Like, I don't know about young Stacy over there. She's got triplets, and trust me, they're not her husband's. So, abortion -y, the clown should go over there and maybe do a little party over there. Here, I got these funny little tricks and balloons and everything. Why don't you put your feet up in the stirrups, and I'll just suck that thing right out of you. You know. The closer to birth time, the better. I didn't say he was a nice clown. He's an evil clown. He's evil. But he makes money. As long as bitches are irresponsible with their bodies. And men, please stop having sex with bitches. Like that. Like, I mean, on one hand, you're like, yeah. You know, you know she's... <laughs> pro-abortion, so it's like nothing or all you want, you know, come dumpster. But these people, those people, are also the same ones that hate men, so don't have sex with them. Because they might just give birth to the kid, to the fucking thing to uh, ruin your life. So don't fuck crazy. First rule, manhood, don't fuck crazy. Don't put your dick in crazy. 
Okay. Unless, unless you're on spring break in another state and they don't know who you are, then you don't know, you know none of them all you want. Uh, there's always going to be girls out there that do that. You know. But for the most part, don't do it. Don't do it, guys. So let's keep going. Uh, excuse me. The deputies knocked at the, at the house, but no one answered. And I'm like, turn off the music. And like, what are you pretending like the cops aren't there? You know, it's a gender reveal party. There's people celebrating out back with the balloons and the candles and the fucking, you know, whatever pregnant people do. So nobody answered. So, you know, maybe, maybe. They popped all the balloons before the cops got there. You hear the pop, the, the balloons popping as soon as, the, as soon as the cops show up. So, abortionee the clown may be already knee deep in business. You know, it's like for five hundred dollar tip, I'll give you a free abortion. So maybe they turn off the lights and everyone's just watching as you, uh, you know. As one of the many women there, at least 2% are going to get an abortion from Yucko the Clown. And everyone's just being quiet because they're watching. Like, oh, 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 God. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't blow up any more balloons. And, and, of course, my buddy Chase will be in the back. Huffing helium and go, hey, kill another one, everybody. You know, this is why nobody invites Chase to things. But then again, you know, you invited Yucko the Clown, abortion to the clown. All right, where are we at here? Uh, da, 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 they found the clown in the upstairs bedroom at the home where the party was taking place. Hashtag party. He was described as very intoxicated. You know, I don't think it's that bad. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I want a clown abortionist, but he's not a drunk, is he? Yes. It, you know, chances are he's a fucking, he's a drunk. He's drunk on the job. He's pouring some of his fifth of vodka on your pussy so it doesn't get affected. Right? He's abortioning the clown. Uh, what'd you think you were getting? Yeah, you paid a pretty penny for your gender reveal party. I don't know why you ordered a clown. There ain't no children there. Well, I guess there might be a couple kids there because some of them bitches are like, I already got one. I don't need another one. $500 tip. A clown gives you your abortion. It's your right, women. It's your word. It's, it's your word against God. <laughs> so I, I think this, this man, this clown man, Doctor Abortiony. I don't think he did anything wrong. It's not the first time he's ever given an abortion at a gender reveal party. So if he's done it before, that means that on some level that there are people out there willing to pay for this service. I don't know. I don't know why you'd hire a clown for a fucking birthday party to begin with, let alone Mr. Abortiony. So... I guess that's all I'm going to do for now. You can leave a voicemail on text at 386-666-2163. And let me know what you think. And we'll talk to you later. Oh, shout out to Sinister City. That's my buddy. Snow Dub. Silent shout outs. God damn it. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.